Welcome to English Podcast for a Better Life. Like and subscribe for the next videos. English for a Better Life. English Podcast for your life. You know, sometimes we get caught up in chasing more, more stuff, more success, more everything. It's like we're running after this idea that having more will make us happier. But I've found that's not always true. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about simplifying things, about living a minimalist life, not just with the stuff I own, but also in my mind. I want to talk about that today, because maybe some of you are feeling the same way, feeling weighed down by too much. Too much clutter, too many expectations, too much pressure. Let me start by saying, I wasn't always like this. I used to think that success meant having the latest gadgets, the nicest clothes, the coolest car. You know, things you can show off, things that give you some sense of status. I worked hard, saved up, and bought stuff. But over time, I noticed something strange. The more I had, the more stressed I became. I wasn't happier. I was just more worried about maintaining everything. And that made me realize something. I was putting too much value on things that didn't really matter in the long run. I remember a moment that changed my perspective completely. I was cleaning out my closet one day, and I found so many clothes that I hadn't worn in months, some even with the price tags still on. I thought to myself, why did I even buy these? Was it just because I saw it on sale, or because I thought it would make me feel better for a moment? That's when it hit me. I was buying things to fill a void that couldn't be filled with material stuff. It was like I was chasing happiness in all the wrong places. That's when I started looking into minimalism, a concept I had heard about but never really paid attention to. The idea is simple, less is more. But it's not just about owning fewer things, it's also about clearing the mental clutter. And man, let me tell you, it's freeing. When you're not constantly distracted by things you don't need or comparing yourself to what others have, you find a peace of mind that you never knew was possible. One of the first things I did was cut down on what I owned. It wasn't about throwing everything out and living with just a chair and a lamp, though. Minimalism doesn't have to be extreme. It's about being intentional with what you keep around. If something doesn't serve a purpose or bring joy, Why hang on to it? I gave away clothes, gadgets, and just general clutter that had been piling up for years. The result? My space felt lighter, and so did I. And here's the funny part. Once I started clearing out my physical space, my mental space started to feel clearer too. It was like I could finally breathe again. My focus sharpened, my anxiety dropped, and I started to realize what was really important to me. All those things I thought I needed, they were just distractions. The real value came from experiences, relationships, and personal growth. Let's talk about mental minimalism for a second, because that's been the biggest shift for me. You know how we fill our minds with so much noise? Social media, news, people's opinions, endless to-do lists, it's exhausting. I used to constantly scroll through my phone, comparing myself to others, feeling like I was behind in life. But the truth is, all of that is just mental clutter. It's like filling your mind with junk food. It tastes good in the moment, but it's not nourishing. What I did was start cutting back on my digital consumption. I stopped mindlessly scrolling, started being more selective about what I paid attention to. I unfollowed accounts that made me feel bad about myself or made me want things I didn't need. Instead, I focused on things that inspired me, things that aligned with my values. And wow, the difference that made. I started feeling more present, more grounded. I also learned to say no more often. We live in a world where we're constantly pulled in a million directions, and it's easy to feel like you have to do everything, be everywhere, say yes to every request. But here's the thing. You can't pour from an empty cup. By saying no to things that don't serve you, 
you're actually making room for the things that matter. And that's what minimalism is really about. Making space for what's important, whether that's in your home, your mind, or your schedule. Now, I'm not saying that minimalism is for everyone, or that it's some magic solution to all of life's problems. But for me, it's been a game changer. It's helped me strip away the excess and focus on what truly brings me joy and fulfillment. And it's funny, once I stopped focusing on what I didn't have or what I thought I needed, I started appreciating what I already had. For example, I used to think I needed the latest phone or the most expensive shoes to feel good about myself. But now, I find happiness in the simple things, like going for a walk outside, spending time with friends and family, or reading a good book. It's those small, everyday moments that bring real joy, not the material stuff. Living a minimalist life, both materially and mentally, has also made me more mindful. When you're not constantly chasing after the next thing, you start to appreciate the present moment more. You realize that happiness isn't some distant goal you have to achieve. It's something that's already within you. It's about being content with less and finding joy in simplicity. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by life or like you're constantly chasing after more, maybe it's time to take a step back and simplify. Ask yourself, what really matters to you? What do you truly need to be happy? I think you'll find, like I did, that it's not as much as you think. Anyway, that's just my experience. I'm not saying I have it all figured out, but I do know that simplifying my life has brought me more peace and happiness than I ever thought possible. It's a journey, and I'm still learning. But I hope this resonates with some of you out there. Maybe it'll inspire you to start your own journey towards living a more minimalist life, both in your space and in your mind. Thanks for listening.